Glad I got the high tops, no water got through. <laughs> Just kidding. Wednesday morning, kind of backing up camp. We are headed down to Lady Evelyn area. Find a site down there for the night. So we're just getting out of the Newton Mountain site. That's a sword for another time. The climb itself was right there, that mountain right there. That fire tower that we saw in the picture, that's the little guy there. up sucker got lake and we're i don't know what the name of this lake is no the one that we're going to look at the site on oh it's unnamed on both maps, on both maps? yeah on name lake hmm. yeah it's got to be it I think this is There's it. There's no way to the left of this. If it's anywhere near here. It's... Oh, there's tape on that tree. No, maybe not. No. I say we just take do this one. Yeah. What, where else could it be? Just put in on the unnamed lake between Lady Evelyn and Willow Island. There's one site here. We are hoping it's available. Whether we stay here for one night or two, we will decide. It's a pretty cool looking lake. Mm -hmm. No power boats. A lot of power boats up to Mogman this year. A lot of people. Not sure why. I bet the fire pit's even in a suitable location. Take a look. You guys gonna come up? Maintain with signs and all. It's just not at the entrance, which is interesting. Nice park. One here. One here. Well, 
other side to big strike out. Disappointing because it's the only one on the lake and there's no power boats. The other side was a bust. Now we found one here in the banana canal because of the shape of it. it looks like a banana if you look through the map. It's not a bad sight at all. There could be a lot of power boats though. Wednesday night, 7.20. We suck at crib. Literally cannot win at this game. Just packing up camp here on Southern Lady Evelyn Lake. The wind is howling in the direction that we need to come from. So this could be a bit of a slog to get down to Diamond. Blue all night, really windy. And we know it's coming from where we need to go. So we'll see how this goes. Nice day otherwise. It's supposed to rain later and all night. So we want to get to Diamond and get some uh, tarp set up ahead of time to get ready for that. Finally down to the end of Lady Evelyn. Pretty windy, but we island hopped our way down. Kind of tried to stay out of the wind as much as we could, but sometimes you just gotta power through it. Do the lift over to Diamond. And we'll see how the wind is on Diamond. So we're gonna just yeah, forecast yeah. here. Lady Evelyn lift over to Diamond. Just on our left here. Feels like there's no wind in here, but there is. There. The way in was fun.
digging in. Yeah. All right, we made it across Diamond Lake. Woo it wasn't easy. It was not easy. I was worked better with the pack. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Waiting for rain on Thursday. With YouTube music, kids. It's pretty windy out here. When we got here, the wind kind of died down and we thought, oh, we should have waited, but now it is super wavy. We're on that big cliff here. Can't really tell, that's about 40 feet. rocks to hold the tent down. It's pretty windy over here. But... So I'm not going to lie, we come to Tomogamy for kind of get away from people and we've just seen so many boats so many planes and helicopters and you feel not as you feel not as disconnected and it kind of ruins it doesn't ruin the experience but it definitely makes you think oh if we went somewhere that was no air traffic and no motorboats it would feel a little more disconnected so we're discussing you know what other options we have Last year was not this bad. Last year we saw a couple of boats, but this Lakeland Airways plane has flown over at least seven or eight times. There's always people fishing right out front of our campsites. And you don't want to be a downer or grumpy or whatever, but after a while you're like, geez. But what do you do? Are, the boats aren't going to be in. We can come through and check that and then go back down if this site sucks. Yep. Maybe? Is it a play? Yep. Friday morning, we were supposed to stay at this site for two days because it's a nice one, but it's like 40 degrees out right now. We're going to move again today, probably to Lake Tomogamy. Traveling in the cold is better than sitting around in the cold, so we're going to do that in a bit. Eat 30 right now. Here, on top of this, and uh, it's kind of cold. I'm hoping since the waves are in our backs, we can make good time.
That wasn't bad at all. Watered in the wind. It's tipping me over. Now we are through Sharp Rock Portage. Into Sharp Rock Inlet. Over to Beaver Island, Deer Island area. A lot of tailwind. We flew across Diamond. Mike is right, that is the first tailwind of the trip. And it was nice. We were like a rocket ship. Blazed through that part, eh? Yeah. Dude, that was like three kilometers and a half an hour. So stay on the left side here. We have a moderate push over the beaver dam. Is that a dam? Oh, things got a little crazy for a minute there. We weren't expecting rain. It started pouring, we got a tarp up. We're trying to keep the fire going in pouring rain. Not a lot of good firewood at this site, so. sun came out but unfortunately I've lost the charging cable for my GoPro so probably not much video left but that's okay what a change he and I were just out for a little solo paddle we heard water from the campsite. We just found a waterfall. And it's really, really pretty. Saturday morning and we are off to Red Squirrel Lake today. Looks like a nice day, blue skies. Pretty cold last night. So we're looking for four inch paint pictograph. She 
look like a moose, right? Got it. Just glad it's not windy at all today. And just made it into Ferguson Bay. Across to Sandy Inlet over to Red Squirrel. The pulling portage is pretty easy going this way. Just past Camp Wanapate. One more portage left to Red Squirrel. Find a site for the night. And that will be the trip. our last night in Tamagami here. We're on Red Squirrel Lake. Got a really nice sight behind us. Gigantic. And uh, this is the end of our trip pretty much. Tomorrow morning we'll get up around 6, head back to the outfitter and bring the canoes back. Mm -hmm.